Jim Ratcliffe's ambitions are crystal clear. He wants to build a new stadium for Manchester United. He called it the Wembley of the North. He'd rather build something new than renovate Old Trafford. How can it happen economically and socially? Is it feasible? That is what Ratcliffe is now looking into. I'm going to run through the latest story because if Ratcliffe gets his way, there's going to be a new Old Trafford. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big one. There has been an official announcement from Manchester United about the creation of a task force whose sole purpose is to look into the regeneration of Old Trafford. Is that a new stadium? Is that a renovation of Manchester United's current stadium, Old Trafford? I think it's become crystal clear that Jim Ratcliffe wants to see, in his words, the Wembley of the North. What I'm going to do is run through the official statement here with comments from Gary Neville, uh, from Andy Burnham, the, the Mayor of Manchester, and from Jim Ratcliffe himself, looking to the feasibility of the plans. Well, not the feasibility of the plans, but the plans that have been announced, because this is an interesting one. I, let me know in the comments. I, I, this, is all, this is always going to be a split question, whether you want a new stadium or you want Old Trafford regenerated. But let's run through this full statement, because there's a lot of new names here. And a lot of information to try and get through. Give me 10 minutes of your time. I'll try and do it all. And if you can, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. I cover all of this so you can try, I suppose, understand it a bit easier. This is the official announcement from Manchester United, which came out just now. A joint task force has been created to explore options for regenerating the Old Trafford area of Greater Manchester with the development of a world-class football stadium at the heart of the project. The Old Trafford Regeneration Task Force is going to be chaired by Lord Seb Coe. Of course, Seb Coe was involved heavily with the 2012 Olympics, was involved in the creation of the London Stadium and anything else that happened around the Olympics, which was a massive success. I, remember, I lived in London at the time. I remember going, I think we didn't get tickets, but went to the stadium. It was cool. Uh, anyway. Uh, he is now chairing it. So they've chosen the person who is going to lead this project. Other members will include Andy Burnham, the Mayor of Manchester, Sarah Todd, Chief Executive of Trafford Council, and of course, Gary Neville. Let's see what is said down here. Working in synergy with Trafford Council's Trafford Wharfside framework, which of course was announced, and that is this, right? That's Trafford Council's plans of the huge regeneration, not just Old Trafford, but that whole entire area broken down into five districts. I've already covered that in a separate video. This is just, this is just part of those huge plans. Working in synergy with them, the project aims to support revitalization of the area. Let's go down and see what is said down here. Lord Co. Throughout my career in sport, I've seen the potential for stadiums to become focal points of strong communities. That was true of the venues we've built in for London Olympics. I'm honored to... Yeah, fluffy. Burnham. The development of one of the most iconic stadiums in the world will help attract investment, create jobs, lead to opportunities. Sarah Todd. I'm more interested in what Gary Neville and Ratcliffe had to say. Let's go down here. Gary Neville. I'm incredibly fortunate to have had the privilege of playing hundreds of games at Old Trafford, and no one can take away those amazing memories. But Old Trafford has evolved throughout its history, and it's clear we are at a point where it has to change again to ensure that Manchester United has a world-class stadium, befitting the world's greatest club. While I want the best for Manchester United, I also want the same for the surrounding community. Old Trafford should be a stadium that the whole of Greater Manchester can take pride in and be a catalyst for sustainable, cohesive growth in an area of the city that has been neglected for too long. Now, of course, Gary Neville, not just there because he played for United. Gary Neville built hotel football with the class of 92. Also, I think he runs another hotel inside Manchester too, and also built the UA92, was the CEO of Salford up until a certain point. He's gone heavy into business. And uh, Dragon's Den, if you watch that too. I think using Gary Neville is a pretty smart play for Manchester United here. Well, more specifically, Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos to lean on for, uh, I suppose, from... What perspective do you think Gary Neville will be going in? He's sort of kind of focusing more towards the community there, but he's there, I suppose, from the Manchester United player and fan perspective more. Well, there's still, there's, there's more fan involvement as well. Let's see what Jim Ratcliffe said. This can be a regeneration project for an area of Greater Manchester, which has played such a key role in British industrial history, which today requires new investment to thrive again. The northwest of England has a greater concentration of major football clubs than anywhere else in the world, yet we don't have a stadium on the scale of Wembley, New Camp or Bernabeu. We will not be able to change that on our own, which is why this task force is so important to help us seize this once in a century opportunity. And I, I, as I said in the intro to this video, I'll say it again now, and I'll, I think it's crystal clear that Jim Ratcliffe, if it's financially feasible, if it's politically feasible, 
if it's economically feasible. He wants a new stadium. I think that's crystal clear. Now, you could say that we could get to the point of a new camp or a burnabout with the regeneration of Old Trafford. But you, in my opinion, you have to take back to the bare bones. It's not really an opinion thing. This whole thing is designed to take opinions out of it. This is supposed to, this task force is created to make it objective. No emotions involved. What's actually the best thing for Manchester United when you take away the emotions that are linked with Old Trafford? And maybe that's not something you can do or should do when talking about the stadium of your football club. Other people involved in this project, Duncan Drasdo, of course, he works with Must. Well, yeah. um, Tom Ross, leader of Travel Council. Eamon Boland, chief executive of Greater Manchester. Peel, so Peel Land, I believe, were involved. They made uh, or designed Media City. That's why they're involved. University of Manchester. A lot of people. I want to know what everybody thinks about this in the comments, all right? This is a big uh, announcement. And also down there, if we go a little bit more detail, one second. I don't know if they wrote it in this one. They actually wrote it in the article on the Times. They're working on uh, this task force coming back to Jim Ratcliffe by the end of the year. So this timeline is actually not written in the official statement, but it's written in the Telegraph and the Times' article. So it's March now. So Ratcliffe is... Re I thought this was going to be... I, honest to God, I thought this I thought this was going to be a conversation we'd be having a little bit further down the line because I saw so many bigger short-term priorities. But I suppose because it's such a long-term project, it kind of got to get the wheels in motion now. As I said, this is all part of the huge regeneration project that doesn't just involve Old Trafford. It's this concept of building, regenerating that whole part of Manchester, creating 5,000 new homes, a brand new stadium, new jobs. Obviously, the old original Old Trafford, if that was to hypothetically happen, wouldn't disappear. It would get repurposed, maybe used as an academy stadium or a women's stadium. But we already know all about the area that's owned by Manchester United. It feels like I might do a proper like deep dive into this, about the area around there that Manchester United own, about the place for where the new stadium could go. You can see there's AI-generated versions of Old Trafford. Got one on the thumbnail. And it could feasibly sit just there alongside the current Old Trafford. It's exciting. And to go back to Jim Ratcliffe's own words there in his statement here, right? It is a once in a century opportunity. And it really is. Old Trafford, once upon a time, was the best stadium in the world. It's, it's not anymore. It's not even the best stadium in the North, let alone the best stadium in the Premier League or the world. It's ridiculous. It should be. Manchester United have lost that status in every sense of the word. And Ratcliffe wants to build something special. Now, will that be a new Old Trafford? In my opinion, it, I think it becomes crystal clear from this. But, and I might be interpreting this wrong. And you're welcome to tell me in the comments. But I'm interpreting this, that Jim Ratcliffe, he wants a new Old Trafford. And will do everything, not, not within his power, like he's pushing for it. Uh, and he's not pushing for the wrong reasons. He's pushing for ambitious reasons. Now that might go, I mean, it will go at loggerheads. This, this, this will, whatever the decision is on this, it will not be a decision which is met with 100% support from the fan base. Whether that's a new Old Trafford or whether that's staying at current Old Trafford and regenerating it, there's always going to be certain people that disagree. It's what's going to make it such a difficult decision. But the task force led by Seb Coe, which is an interesting appointment. I mean, he's kind of got like the who's who. Get the man who led the organization of the, the Olympics in this country. One of the biggest projects a sporting events that's ever happened in this country yeah, get him Whoop. get gary neville who's built a hotel across from old trafford get the greater mayor of manchester yep get it the mayor of greater manchester the great mayor of manchester get him involved get the vice chancellor from the from the uni everybody together let's work on this task force watch this space because it may well be that a new old trafford is coming if jim ratcliffe gets what he wants